What's up everybody, welcome back to Barnes Box, I'm Barnes. Today I'm going to try and show you how to do the Coin Guard Merchandise side quest in Greedfall. Uh, so this side quest is available as soon as you leave um, after speaking to your mother and saying goodbye to her. Uh, it's the very first side quest that opens up and you get it. Uh, you can't miss getting it, Kurt will give it to you as soon as he joins your party. Um, and we'll go ahead and grab that from him now. So this is like right after you get to... Right, right after you finish that cutscene with your mother. Um, so this uh, it's, this side quest is a little confusing in that there's a very obvious way to do it. Um, but if you haven't put a stat into the science skill, you cannot do it that way. And to get another point, you need to get to level 5. And I killed absolutely everybody I could and did every quest that I could while I was there. Um, and I, I was just shy of level five so it might be possible to get to level five if you do stuff absolutely perfectly um but i wasn't able to in my game so i spent hours and hours trying to figure out how i could actually finish this quest um but the game does actually tell you how you can complete it if you listen to what kurt tells you as you are um like basically once you get it or once you get to that step um but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that once we get there. Okay, I'm going to start running into a pillar. So, yeah, we should have got that side quest now. Coin guard merchandise. So we're going to negotiate with the vendors the first step. So there's a few different ways you can go about negotiating with the vendor. Um, you can try and negotiate your way out of it. You can just threaten him, which will result in violence and loss of reputation and all that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to try and negotiate our way out of it. The two times I've done it, it has been successful, but I'm not 100% sure if it's, like, guaranteed or not. Um, but it doesn't matter which way you do it. Either way, you can still complete the mission. So he'll try double charging us. I'm just going to skip through the text because you guys can listen to it if you want when you get there. Uh, go through all his dialogue options. Alright, so you need whatever that is, one which I do not have to offer a bribe, uh, but charisma, 50% chance by the look of it. Um, I don't think you understand. Lady During our con that's regret, you know as well as I do. So, yeah, we got it successful. Every time I've done that, it's been successful, so, I mean, go ahead and try it. If it doesn't, you can uh, threaten him, and if you end up threatening him, he will like refuse and you'll end up having to come around here you'll open this gate where you see those dudes behind there and you'll fight them and then you'll eventually just give it up and then you'll be on the same step um, so now you need to go to the coin guard barracks which are over here so this is the tavern that you come to as part okay I accidentally went in but that's the tavern you'll come in there as part of the main game um, here is the merchant, which he might be useful later. Um, and then in here's the coin guard barracks. So you go ahead and talk to him. He'll tell you, I don't care, you figure it out, blah, blah, blah. So now we've got to figure out a way to get the cargo onto the boat. So we'll go speak to the captain, who you have probably... Well, depending on when you decide to go about this quest, you might have met him already. He's the captain of the Vasco that you meet when you first go down to the docks. So, when you're done with that, you want to ask about ask for help for, on the merchandise, which I think might be spelt wrong, but we'll see. Merchandise. He'll tell you, uh, yeah, I'm not breaking the law. So this is where the quest, in my opinion, got really, really confusing. So you got to clear out the warehouse of guards and temple with the ship's log. Now, tampering with the ship log is pretty easy. It shows you exactly where to go. You can try and sneak in and avoid pissing everybody off, or you can just murder everybody and lose some rep with the knots, but, um... We'll try and do it stealthy, but clearing out the warehouse of guards is 
where here we'll um we'll try and get this objective because there's okay there's a way in which you can do it super easily with science there we go it just popped up there's nothing you do you can say insist or leave you'll end up leading either way um but that opens up the option to prepare a drink with like, sleeping pills so if you were to have put a stat into or a talent into science you'd be able to do that real easy for example but i've put it into lock picking as you can see i do not have science one um i'll quickly show you how to do it the science way i obviously can't do it these are the guys that need the access oh i didn't want to speak to him let me pass and you see there's the gate behind the uh shady merchant quickly go over here okay so this bench here you will need to craft this lace drink which like I said it says so requires science level one a bottle of brandy and a sleeping potion um, you can craft a sleeping potion if you have those ingredients or if you have the money you can just buy both ingredients from around the corner here from the merchant if you buy, you can bump her over here. So you've got a bottle of brandy for five and a sleeping potion for twenty. So if you've got twenty-five coin, you can or gold, you can you can just buy, come back over here, craft it, and then those guards where we had the choice to insist or leave. If you talk to them with the lace drink, you can offer them a drink, and it will um, they'll just like fall over, knocked out, and be asleep, and that completes the mission. Um, so that's the easy way to do it if you've picked the right stat. Right, so the, for the the harder way, if you were like me and you didn't pick uh, science, and like I said, I picked um, lot picking, and that is not an option to you, then you can also do it, but it requires you to. Um, you basically need to disguise yourself as a naught and get into their. Or go talk to them and say that, like, you're, uh... Oh, man, it's already pissed them off, look. Oops. Alright, well, we're just gonna kill them. Did I just go through the wall? That was kind of crazy. Yeah, we are playing on easy, just so I can show you guys quickly. Um, maybe because I just walked in there. So you can see lot picking. Alright, so we'll go upstairs here. This is the objective, the other objective that I mentioned is super easy. For um gonna stick on the anvil. This is the objective for tampering with the uh the documents manifest but if you check this chest here you see it's it's loot it's not you don't need a pick a uh, lot pick or anything you open that up and you have well you have five gold coins for a start but you've got this sailor's outfit boots gloves and coat so you want to take all that and put it on and this will make them think you're one of them so this is the part that for me took me forever to figure out I was under the impression I had to do the science way because um, like I said the game doesn't really tell you at all how to I mean if you're the side quest it doesn't have that as an option here at all it just says clear out the warehouse or prepare a drink lace for sleeping pills it doesn't say how to clear out the warehouse other than that drink um, but if you listen to Kurt when you get to around this area like outside he will say oh we could dress up like one of them or something I can't remember the exact words but he says it and that is your clue to how you do it. Key for the gels is for a different side mission. Right, so we tampered with that, that's that thing done. Pretty much everything else is self-explanatory now. It's really just the dressing up thing that is a pain to figure out, or it was for me anyway. <laughs> maybe it's a lot maybe this guide is pointless and you guys uh, had already figured it out without this, but um, 
I figure maybe someone was like me and missed that line of dialogue and didn't know how to do it. So as you see, you walk up to these guys and they just say, whatever, they're gone. Simple. So, as you can see, I just did that with the, um, oops, my hat was unchanged, my neck was unchanged, I only changed the torso, the boot, hands and the boots, or the legs, don't need to worry about the rest of it. After that, you can come speak to this guy, he will, blah, 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 done. Alright, so, now, we just need to go back to the coin guard. I don't know why I didn't auto put that quest on, but there we go. So, I mean, he's the guy, he's the grumpy guy we spoke to earlier anyway, around the corner from the tavern. So, there's the tavern. And then, here is the coin guard. So, you talk to this guy. So, you're back. We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. Aye. Thank you, Your Excellency. The cargo shall make the vote. That shall be your next. He will give you new ones. Until then. So, that completes the quest as far as it can be completed here in Serene. As you can see, the quest now says, Talk to the Coin Guard Barracks Quartermaster in New Serene. Um, so, I'm going to cut right here. Uh, I will pick up after you completed the prologue. Basically, as soon as you get off the boat from the um basically once you get off the boat and new serene you can do the next part of the quest immediately and i'll see you guys there so uh one quick note if you uh were past that point you looked up this guy to where you were like me and you couldn't figure it out and you had sold all of the armor that i just said to wear um you can also do it by buying clothes from this guy and he sells a item called uh, that doesn't matter. Chest piece. Where is it? This custom officer's sailor coat. Uh, this is what I use on my main game. That out that uh, that coat works, so you can wear that as well. He also sells the sailor's boots. Um, he doesn't sell the gloves, but I don't think they they might not be necessary. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe you need to find those elsewhere. But you can definitely buy the coat and the boots. It might just be the coat you need to wear, to be honest. That's the main piece. Um, but yeah, so do that if you had already sold them all. Alright, so once you've uh, gone ahead and finished the prologue, you get these cutscenes, which I'm going to skip through. Um, have this come down, and you'll be given Vasco as a companion. Alright, so we can go ahead and make this quest active. And we'll head on over to the Coin Guild. Uh, or the co I don't know why I keep calling it the Coin Guild. The Coin Guard Barracks. Um, it's quite a way over here. So, yeah, I mean, the quest from here on out is super simple and straightforward. You shouldn't have any problems with it. If you still have the outfit... Um, the disguise basically you can do it super easily without any effort at all if you haven't um, and you can't buy one then maybe you you will have to fight some noughts unless you're extremely sneaky um, where the new the new serene co uh, coin guard is it's a bit of a trek I guess because you're going to have to come back and forth from this a couple times um, but he's right in here Talk to this guy, you hear what he has to say, you talk about the ship, the good ship, he'll say, oh, we didn't get him. So now it's our problem to go figure out what happened to him. Someone tried to steal them, I guess. Vasco might not be that happy, but seeing as he's just been fired, he decides, screw it, I'm going to get revenge, basically. So now we're going to head all the way back down to the docks. I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. That won't be necessary. My entire cargo has been placed. Vasco will say, oh, it has to be one of those warehouses. 
So come down here, this is the warehouse we've got to get into. Um, we can jump over this fence. So this is again where, if, as long as you have the disguise on, or the outfit, no one will care what you're doing. You can just run around. There's this guy, whatever. So one of the warehouses is there, the other one is here. I'm going to go in this one first. So the crates, um, I've done this a couple of times, the crates have been here every time so far. So I think it is a set location, so you can just go ahead and skip straight here, open this crate, and he will say... You didn't know what was in the crates. No. I don't concern myself believe you, you have to wait for them to finish talking so you can mark the crates up. So just let me know what you discover. Hang about. Now let's mark these crates and get going. Use And then all the way back to the coin guard and that is the end of the quest. I mean that's it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I made this video mainly for the step where you have to remove the guards from the warehouse. I am not joking when I say I spent four or five hours trying to scrape together enough XP to get the science skill um, to be able to just lace the drink. Uh, and then when I wasn't able to, I started the game again and again trying to figure out exactly if it was possible to do it on my main save because I'd spent so much time on that and built my character how I wanted it and like looted all the chests and everything. I didn't really want to do all that again, so I was just trying to figure out a way to do it. Um, and when I found the solution, uh, it seemed pretty simple. So I'm sure a lot of you will have already just done that step without even thinking about it. And but. I'm hoping, well I'm not really hoping, but I'm sure some of you out there like me who just didn't hear that one line that um, that Kurt said, so you were kind of stuck because the game, as far as I could tell, couldn't tell me anywhere exactly how to do that quest. So yeah, there you go, that is the end of the quest. Make sure to give me that thumbs up if you liked this video, if it helped you out let me know. Um, let me know if you're enjoying the game, I'm sure if you've looked this up then you're playing it. Uh, let me know uh, Let me know what kind of build you're running, I'm personally running the technical tree, that's more my kind of style, but let me know what you're doing. Um, and yeah, subscribe for more content, hit that bell if you want to know when that content goes live. And if you already do all that then you are amazing. But uh, I'll leave you guys to get on with your adventuring, and I'll see you next time.